Right guys, so today I'm going to be doing a service on this 1.6 petrol Ford Focus. We have a noisy 1.6 uh, petrol engine, sounds like a diesel. But I've been informed that might just be um, the uh, valve lifters, tappets. So I've got some treatment for that to we'll try and uh, quiet that down. Some uh, decent oil, filter. Um, air filter, cabin filter, yeah, oil filter's just, uh, just there, so that's alright, uh, it doesn't need spark plugs, they're all good, if you do need to change them, all you do is just pull them out, they're just under there, um, yeah, so uh, I'll get underneath and test the tray off, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So um, I started off by just putting uh, the car in some maximum stands. I'll just show you the points on that, just so. That's where I put them. Yep. So they're pretty solid. So now. I'm just uh, letting the engine warm up, so the oil's a bit nice and warm to uh, take it all out, but now what have we got under here then? Got some screws along here, three there, and one back there, one there, and then how many got there? Pull up the back. Okay, so we've got another one there, another one there, and um, more than likely a third one on there. So three at the back, one here. Um, I don't know if there's one around here somewhere. Got three, six, eight screws, I think. Uh, T30 Torx. So get them unscrewed. Oh, we have more. Got three here. Yeah? That one's already loose for some reason. We can have a look in an hour. There's your oil filter. Doesn't even look that old. Some bolt there. Okay. Alright, now I've let the uh, engine warm up. Well, I took that under tray off. We can knock it off now, so. Alright. Now I can get under and it is a 13mm socket. Oh yeah, that definitely needed changing. Right, as soon as um, all the oil's drained out, just put the uh, Plug back in. Just uh, change the um, little seal on it. If you've got one. Then just make sure to tighten that back up. And then we can move to the uh, oil filter. Alright, so I've got this um, special tool for taking off oil filters. Sometimes you can do it by hand, but when they're a bit stubborn, you're just going to use one of these.
There we go. Make sure that drips in here. Look at that, it's gonna get on everything. <laughs> Enough so it doesn't go all over me. All right, that's all drained, so I should be able to take it off without getting it all over myself. Oh, okay, now very watery. This oil, very watery, it's not very thick. Now we'll give it a little clean up. Put the new one on. Alright, so I cleaned all that up. Get the new oil filter out. Just check it's the same one. Just get a bit of that old oil in there to lube up the seal. Now we just screw it back on. Don't need to tighten it too much. Yeah, that should be about right. Yep. All right, sweet. Bolts back in. Filter on. We'll fill it up now. Just uh, poured all the old oil into here. Just uh, an empty uh, screen wash bottle, just to easily get rid of. Take it to your um, recycle center and just there you go. All right. Let's get the. Uh, We'll cap off, get our oil, 5W30, alright so I've put about 3.8 uh, litres in, and seems to be about fine, start the engine and circulate into the fuel, uh, oil filter then should be spot on so I right, put the cap back on <clears throat> start up and uh, have a check start the engine up Let all the oil circulate. Give it a couple of seconds. Now, I just want to add this. Right, so oil's all top back up. Put that um in that. Try and help this noise, see if that does anything. A little smoke from the back, but it's just a bit of oil burning on the uh, headers. Um yeah, so now we need to do the air filter. Alright, let's uh, take this air filter off. It's a 7mm bolt here. One here. Yep, one 
back here as well. And that's just fell through. And down the floor, so that's alright. I've seen. can see it needs to sit down there Right, um, just going to put the uh, under tray back on now. Right, so we've um, done the oil, done the oil filter, air filter, put the treatment in, um, put the bottom back on. Now we can just take the jack stands off, pop her on the ground, and then all we've got left is the cabin filler. All right, so put the cabin filler here. carbon filter and then passenger side come underneath take these two off drop that down and then you should be able to just Push them in. Um, cable up top there. Might have a screw, I'm not sure. Mine doesn't. Oh my god. Yep. Jeez, I don't know if that's ever been changed. Jesus. Very important to change these. Oh my God. Look at this.
Jesus. They're both uh, carbon fillers. Look how black that one is. Okay, so got your airflow going that way. This little spongy spit to the back. <clears throat> okay, so going in this way. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna struggle to put this in now because it's a pretty tight spot. Okay, there we go. Got that in. It was a bit of a struggle, like, but. All right. Okay, got that on now. I just need to put this uh, bottom bit back on. Okay, so that's the uh, cabin filter installed. All right. I'll just uh, give the oil another little check. Yeah, looks spot on. Go for a little drive. Come back, check your oil again on a nice flat ground. And uh, yeah, you need to top it up, just top it up. If not, then uh, you're good to go.